Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about top 10 guitar amps one can buy under $500 in 2021 so far. Before we get into it, please subscribe to our channel. This encourages us to upload more content. Number 1. Boss Katana 100. This solid state 100W model is gig ready, and like the rest of the range, boasts 5 amp characters clean, crunch, lead, brown, and acoustic, plus variations for each. This being a boss amp, you also get five independent digital effects sections thrown in, booster, mod, FX, delay and reverb, all of which are savable across eight tone setting memories. It's the tonal control that really makes the katana a top buy, however, with adjustable cab resonance options, power control and easily recordable mic'd cab emulated outputs. Reasons to buy are. Hugely versatile feature set. Killer sounding effects. Convincing tube-like tones. You can buy one on Amazon link is in description. Number 2. Yamaha THR32. Yamaha's stylish THR combos pioneered the desktop amp format and now its second iteration may have perfected it, with the THR30II standing proud as the cream of the crop. 15 new amp tones are on board, with Yamaha's virtual circuitry modeling promising utterly authentic sounds, while acoustic and bass players are catered for, too, with three voices each. These amps sound killer when recorded, too, with this 30W version packing a pair of one-quarter line outputs for mix-ready tones. There are also built-in modulation and delay, reverb effects, as well as Bluetooth and built-in wireless compatibility with Line 6 a Relay G10T transmitter, plus an onboard rechargeable battery for fully wireless playability. reason to buy are outstanding amp models impressive extended stereo technology onboard wireless and bluetooth connectivity you can buy one on amazon link is in description number three orange micro dark orange micro dark is tiny unit but has a big rich voice possibly the world's only bona fide metal amp that can fit inside a guitar case the micro dark is nevertheless packed with features that include volume gain and shape controls a one quarter inch headphone output, speaker output, minimum 8 ohm load, and an effect loop. The tiny unit boasts a preamp driven by a single 12AX7 tube and a 20 watt solid state power amplifier that pumps out impressively loud volume levels, with mammoth bass thump and harmonically rich grind. <laughs> Massive amounts of gain. Effect loop for patching outboard gear. Incredibly lightweight. You can buy one on Amazon link is in description. Number 4. Positive Grid Spark Guitar Amp. A brilliant practice amp for home use. Positive Grid is a relatively new kid on the block, but don't let that put you off. They've taken the guitar amp world by storm of late with their incredible bias tone engine, and the Spark is a neighbor-friendly, wallet-friendly vehicle for that fantastic software to shine. With access to over 10,000 tones with the companion app, as well as 30 amp models and 40 effects already on board, the Spark is more than capable of covering any genre you can think of. USB inputs and outputs are standard, allowing you to turn your Spark into a guitar audio interface for easy recording, and Bluetooth is included to make streaming music easy as pie. <laughs>
Reasons to buy are. Looks like a proper amp. Seemingly endless tonal options. Big sound for a small amp. You can buy one on Amazon. Link is in description. Number 5. Fender Mustang LT25. A great option for amp modeling on a budget. You'll find 30 presets on board presets, easily selectable using the large encoder to the right of the amp screen. These presets can be tweaked and your custom profile saved with ease. <laughs> Reasons to buy are super easy to operate, range of tones, easily portable. You can buy one on Amazon. Link is in description. Number 6. Marshall CODE 50. The company's first foray into digital modeling is a big hit. Part of Marshall's code series, the company's first foray into the world of digital modeling amps, the CODE 50 is a 50 watt combo with a single custom 12 inch speaker that provides four power amp models. 14 preamp models, 8 speaker models, and 24 effects. Up to 5 effects can be used simultaneously and can store 100 presets. Standard front panel controls include volume, gain, master, and bass, middle, and treble EQ. <coughs> Reasons to buy are 14 preamp models, powerful enough for gigging, Bluetooth connectivity via Marshall Gateway app. You can buy one on Amazon. Link is in description. Number 7. Line 6 Spider V120. Best for beginners. The Spider has become something of a beginner guitar amp staple owing to its exhaustive array of amp and effects models, and with the Spider VMKE series, it's never sounded better. This 120W version is perhaps the standout of the series, with over 200 amps, cabs, and effects spread across 128 presets and newly revoiced for this range. These are ideal for beginners as a way of getting quick and easy access to a host of classic guitar tones. Reasons to buy are tones for days, powerful enough for any gig, lots of integrated learning tools. You can buy one on Amazon. Link is in description. Number 8. Roland Blues Cube Hot. Excellent quality, value, and reliability in a compact package. The heart of this solid state amp lies in Roland's Tube Logic technology, which utilizes a mix of digital and analog circuits to duplicate the sounds of famous fine tuned vintage tube amps. Including preamp and output tube saturation characteristics, power supply compression, and much more. The result is great tone and dynamic, squashy, valve like response. The 30 watt Blues Cube Hot boasts a 12 inch custom speaker and foot switchable boost and EQ, as well as four output levels, from 30 watts down to around 0.5 watts, to properly reproduce the sound of a valve power stage driven into cutoff at any volume level. There's also a single input jack, with knobs for volume, bass, mid and treble, reverb, and master output level. Two small illuminated buttons control the cube's boost and tone features. At full power, the Blues Cube Hot is loud enough for small gigs, while the 0.5 watt setting is ideal for recording and practice. 
Excellent quality, value and reliability wrapped in a compact, portable and great sounding package. Reasons to buy are versatile features, vintage valve tones in solid state design, adjustable from 30 watts down to 0.5 watts. You can buy one on Amazon, link is in description. Number 9. Black Star Fly 3. 3 watt wonder sounds as good as amps four times its size. The Fly 3 takes the micro amp concept to the extreme, with 3 watts, 2 channels, digital, tape. Delay and Blackstar's infinite shape feature for British and American sounds. Furthermore, an MP3 line in socket allows the Fly 3 to be connected to an MP3 player, mobile phone, laptop, or tablet. When connected to a Fly 103 extension cabinet, sold separately or as part of the Fly stereo pack, it becomes a 6 watt stereo amp for guitar or music playback. For all its features, it's the tone that really makes the Fly 3 soar. The unit sounds as good as practice amps four times the size, with thick bass, ringing cleans, and substantial gain. Overall, a huge success in a tiny box. Reasons to buy are two channels, digital tape delay effect, MP3 line in for jamming along or listening to music. You can buy one on Amazon, link is in description. Number 10. Vox Mini Super Beetle. The iconic Super Beetle returns in shrunken form. This miniature amp stack, a recreation of the iconic Super Beetle, stands nearly two feet tall. But don't be fooled by its diminutive stature, the amp is more than loud enough. The Super Beetle can pump out 50 watts of output at 4 ohms, 25 watts at 8 ohms, and 12.5 watts at 16 ohms. The head is powered by analog new tube circuitry. Which employs a VFD, vacuum fluorescent display tube that captures the same sound and response of vacuum tubes without any of the inconsistent elements. Controls include volume, bass, treble, and gain and a mini toggle standby switch. The digital spring reverb and tremolo each have their own singular control, with the tremolo being driven by new tube technology. On the rear panel, there's a flat, deep EQ switch, impedance switch, eco switch. Dual speaker output jacks and a headphones line out jack. The Mini Super Beetle's vertical open backed cabinet with chrome stand, and no, it doesn't tilt houses a single custom Celestion 10 inch speaker.
Reasons to buy are 50 watts of output. Classy looks and tone. Powered by analog new tube circuitry. You can buy one on Amazon link is in description. So, this was our today's videos. Let me know in comment section below which one do you prefer buying. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon that you may get notified every time I upload a video.